So my name is Ryan Pitalak. I'm the VP of Marketing with Profit Fuel. Profit Fuel has a revolutionary new product called Outrank.com, and Outrank provides local search engine optimization services for thousands of small business customers across the United States. So we build them this little individualized website and get it ranked at the front page of Google, which provides them with a bunch of phone calls, which is ultimately what these small business customers want. Absolutely. So lead generation is a form of what we do, but we happen to provide it in the form of a phone call. So most of our people receive a phone, they go to the website that we provide for the customer and call our customer. And so for us, we're looking for unique ways to provide traffic to our websites so that we can get more phone calls for our customers. And so, you know, there's the, the revolutionary internet marketing, I think, happens here and everybody's coming up with these really novel ideas on how to do internet marketing and it's always changing. So, you know, we're here to learn what we can and see how we can apply that to improve our results for our customers. When you say it happens here, you mean it happens here at LeedsCon? That's right, it happens here at LeedsCon. I mean, this is, you know, this really is a fabulous group of people and, you know, I look around the room and I think to myself, you know, these are the people that are really setting the stage for what's going to happen in the years to come. That's funny, uh, the lead generation business has really gone through a lot of change over the last dozen or so years. Uh, you know, it really started when people were doing things like email marketing back 10 years ago and it kind of transitioned from that and now people are doing a lot of search marketing. And, uh, but th at the end of the day, and also there's co-registration, and the point is, is at the end of the day it's all the same, right? People are trying to provide some sort of uh, lead to a customer and that has really morphed over the years to be not just only that little short form that people used to fill out with their name, their phone number, their address and what they're interested in, but now it's phone calls and we have better tracking technology now. So I think, you know, you, know, you ask about where it was in the past. I think it was more like email, and then where it's been in the recent past, I think it's been search and co-registration, things like this. And then now into the future, I think we're moving into an area where we're going to have more paper call products, and people are going to be able to track what's happening. And, and uh, what you'll notice is there's a lot going on with hot transfer, and hot transfer is effectively where a lead comes in, and you uh, call that, a company will call that lead, and then they will transfer that to the small business owner or the business owner uh, and do it on the phone. And that provides a lot of value for that small business owner because you know, to make leads work for everybody, you have to find some way to make it accessible for them. So if you can just pick up the phone and all of a sudden there's a client, a prospect sitting there on the phone, that's really amazing. And that didn't exist years ago. And I think that's where we're heading more and more toward that with lead scoring, these other kinds of technologies. So, uh, so, so we have, uh, we have th like I said, we have thousands of customers, and those customers are in about 150 different categories. So those categories could be plumbers, they could be doctors, they could be chiropractors, they could be dentists. So we have a wide range of different businesses. And what we really focus on is we want to find customers who have uh, a locally focused business, so they probably have a location, or they at least have a local service area. So we're from Austin, Texas, so you know, somebody is going to work in the Austin, Texas area. And then what we're going to do is we're going to work to get those people ranked organically in the search engines, but then also in the local area of the search engines. So if you go to google.com, you see that little map, you see the search results next to it. That's what we're trying to do. You know, with what Google's doing right now with uh, getting into the lead generation space and where you can start to put in information and then right next to that you can see who your, uh, what your rates are going to be based on what you fill out, <clears throat> you know, that's an immediate feedback system, right? And so, you know, the, the, you know what I would call Web 1.0 is, right, you fill out that short form, you press submit, somebody calls you back, or they don't. Uh, but more importantly, what it is today is you actually have more of a marketplace happening in real time and where you have uh, somebody filling out their information and getting selected with uh, a particular company that works well for them. So if you're, a, if you're a large company like, let's say, a Honda, you know, what you probably should be doing is you should be walking people through a form step process, and as people select their, their criteria, you know, different car options become available to them. So it's not just, you know, I want to pick the uh, Corolla, but you know, kind of walk them through to the, make the decision of having a Corolla. And then once you have that, then start walking them through how you actually get them to make a purchase decision because a lot of that doesn't happen online right now. A lot of it's just 
you know, brand building and you know, making people aware of what the product is, but they really should be capturing that information, should be doing something with it. In a lot of ways, social is great for local. Um, you know, the reason is that people can talk to their current customers and say, okay, well, you know, come become my friend, and then I can send you something of hopefully a value to you. So uh, a big space that we're in is the chiropractor space. And so as a chiropractor, you know, you tend to have a longer relationship with somebody because it's overall well-being. And so what they'll do is they'll ask their clients to become friends with them, and then they will use that as a tool to reach new potential uh, prospects as well. So, you know, I'm talking about it and then somebody says, well, you know, this was a really great article. I'll forward this to my friend. And then they join and they start getting involved. And, you know, Facebook, I mean, Twitter is another good example where they can start talking about these topics and people can befriend them. And so I do think it's a really great way to stay engaged, especially, you know, so I'm talking about from a retention standpoint. I don't think right now um, it really has evolved to figure out for people to figure out how to do prospecting necessarily. And, and I think that's one of the opportunities in the space. But right now, I do think it's a really great tool to say, okay, I already have a relationship with you and let's go build that relationship. I mean, obviously you can do advertising on Facebook and you can you know, get these local ads out there, but I just don't think it's really been figured out yet to the point where lots of local businesses are saying, okay, this is something I need to do. We like to use the word coopetition. I think somebody used this, right? So cooperative competition. And uh, I think it's really true. And, and I think the reason is because, uh, well, first of all, you're, you're mutually helping each other get over the learning curve. So, you know, whereas before people used to think that, and I think it also has to do with the fact that the internet's getting bigger. So as more people use the internet and the internet's getting bigger, you know, if there are a thousand people here that are talking about a specific topic, that's not a lot of people when you consider the grand scheme of the overall uh, universe of internet marketers out there. And so if we're all helping each other out, I think that's a good thing for everybody and people understand that so it can become reciprocal. And you know, that's really a trend that started to happen over the last few years and I see this in a lot of the search uh, air arenas as well where you know, people pretty much just say this is what we're doing and this is how we do it and you know, the reality is, is in our space, you know, such a small percentage of the local businesses that could be advertising online are advertising online. So you know, if we're helping each other with the people that are and some of those people on the margin who will, it doesn't really necessarily create some competition for each other because it's such a large space. Well, you know, I'm a little partial just because, you know, we are in the local search space. And so I think that if you have some sort of skill, you know, you'd be well off to take that skill and turn it into a practice and then go to outrank.com and sign up for our product. I just think that, you know, because of what we do, we do a really great job and we can provide a lot of value for those people. And because those people are able to provide local services, I think that's really important because, you know, the problem is, is when you start to get out just on the broad internet, and I was actually up in my uh, hotel room last night watching some guy get on TV and talk about how, uh, you know, he made it so that his father could make all this money and buy my book for $20. And, you know, it all comes back to Google AdSense and trying to build these product-based sites. And the reality is everybody is trying to do that. And yes, you can do well, and there's definitely a way to succeed. But I think if you really take, what is that craft that you have that's uniquely different, and go out and promote that, and find a way like a partner like OutRank.com that can actually help propel the marketing side of that, and you do what you do best, I think that's how they'd be successful.